I'm sweating. I'm sweating so much because I have to put off the lights. Hey, did I say like... <laughs> It's only been four weeks since I actively started and documented my decluttering process. I started with improving my space with aesthetic minimalism. I've learned so many things but so far these are the four major things I've learned. Hi I'm Juju and if you enjoy content on minimalism and feel good content please subscribe and join the family. Thank you so much. In this video I will share with you four things I've learned from four weeks of practicing minimalism. Letting things go is the easy part. You know, choosing that this dress or that shirt has to go, that is the easy part. The hard part is not replacing these things that you've let go and essentially going back to square one of having more things. Like taking five steps forward and 10 steps back. So when you are finally able to let things go, actively fight the urge to replace those things with new things. Most of the time when you look into it, most of these things don't need replacement. It's an emotional process for the better. For me and the stage that I'm at right now, looking through your things leads you into this wormhole of possessions. Some of the things you didn't even know you still had, and those things may bring back a lot of memories. It's okay. You are bound to get emotional. Feel it, go through it, enjoy it. Three, you don't have to, but you should. What I mean by saying this is that you don't have to be a minimalist. You don't have to practice minimalism but once in a while you should make the conscious effort to go through your things and see what you can do away with and what you can keep or just simply organize your stuff after my decluttering process it's easier for me to decide what to wear hence i don't waste so much time in the morning trying to decide what to wear it's not even because i have less clothes now it's because all the black things that i like to wear are in plain sight finally four we underestimate the power of space. A clean space is not always about, you know, cleaning up dirt and it's clean, it's clean, like it's, it's devoid of filth. A clean space also sometimes means a clear space. When there's little to no physical clutter around you, you feel lighter. Think about it. And even when your space gets messy again, it's easier to clean up because, you know, there's not a lot of things to clean up, basically, because, you know, your space is devoid of so many things. Now I did state in my previous video that I was going to dedicate the next videos um, as in based on the month of May on improving my aesthetic. Like me, physical aesthetic, you know, how I look from head to toe. But I'm in so much pain right now. I wasn't even going to post a video this week, but God is good. I'll start next week. I hope you learned something from this video and this video gives you some form of clarity into what I'm doing here because sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. Sometimes. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more feel-good content and more content on minimalism and see you in the next one. Peace.